Drama alert! The Brawl Stars community has been really upset recently. So I thought I'd make a video going over all the drama that's been happening in Brawl Stars since the update. And let me know if you want me to do this more often. Now something that really got the community riled up is when the update immediately dropped and there were tons of bugs. Of course, all of your past Brawl Passes and Trophy Road rewards were all claimed including any pin packs you might have been saving up, which some people were definitely upset to see that happen. But the biggest drama was the bug that happened with Trophy Road, where some people could just claim it multiple times and were able to get thousands of credits getting Chester for free on top of tons of free gold, power points, and more. The bug was so insane, it went to the point where some people were able to claim so many extra credits that they were able to get their fame level to level three, the max level on the first day of the update. Oh God. Now, of course, abusing bugs usually doesn't end well. Reddit asked this person, why did he do it? I don't know, it looks cool. <laughs> Honestly. I don't know what other response we could have expected. Also, if you're wondering what happened to those people who claimed so many credits and got their fame all the way to max, Frank responded. The most likely scenario is they put them back at zero fame and maybe give them a ban for a certain amount of time, depending on what their past behavior has been. And then since we're speaking of fame, some people are upset about how fame is kind of useless. And then also some people are bragging about their fame and like, why does it matter? Who cares? Although, pause, pause, real quick, fame is brand new. There probably will be extra uses for fame later on, right? Okay, but back to the trophy road bug. So of course, Brawl Stars being the company that they are, after a huge thing like that, where some people got incredible rewards for free and some people didn't, Brawl Stars decided everyone deserted compensation. Now how it was supposed to work is that compensation was only supposed to be for the people who didn't claim those trophy road bug rewards. Now for a lot of people the compensation was like this, but the compensation varied depending on your trophies. However, there were a lot of people who were saying, um, I didn't get anything and I didn't claim trophy road bug rewards. But then there were also people who did have the trophy road bug and also got the extra compensation. Oh boy. So of course they had to do a bug fix to fix the bug fix. This is fine. Today's video is sponsored by Repeat.gg, a tournament platform that gives out cash and prizes for your performance in your favorite video games, including Brawl Stars. In fact, there's a $5,000 launch tournament together with Tribe Gaming going on that starts on January 1st. Whoever gains the most trophies in a month wins, but there's a catch. The higher trophy your brawler is, the more points you gain. They also have a Power League Rush format where you compete for two hours in Power League to try to win as many games in a row as you can for more points. Want to compete? Here's how you join. Just make an account, put in your Brawl Stars ID, and then boom! You can go ahead and play Brawl Stars tournaments and earn cash prizes or play tournaments in other games. With over $80,000 in cash given away every month, what are you waiting for? Compete at repeat.gg today. So naturally, of course, a lot of people were upset about how this whole thing played out. But also at the same time, can't we just like give Brawl Stars devs some props for trying to fix and make that situation fair when they probably didn't have to do anything in the first place at all, to be real. But also at the same time, imagine being someone who got a ton of stuff from the Trophy Road bug rewards, got the extra compensation, and also had the 140 mega boxes for $2 offer. <laughs> the ultimate hacker. Also going back a little further, right before the update came out, there were a ton of people complaining already just about the removal of boxes to the point where an article was made by Kotaku. Game removes loot boxes, players revolt instead of celebrate. What? First of all, maybe just a clickbait article. But at the same time, if you were looking at the live chat in Brawl Talk, there were a lot of kids just like this, putting upset emojis and thumbs down about boxes being removed. But then again, maybe it's just a small vocal minority. I mean, there's always gonna be people who complain about stuff, game tries to fix what you complain about, and then people complain about the fix. Really, come on. Also, shout out to Brawl Stars World Finals caster, Ready, Set, Go, who found the fastest way to get credits in Brawl Stars.
Now with the new update, Chroma Credits are a new thing, and a lot of free-to-play players are pretty upset about how Supercell is doing Chroma Credits, where you get 500 every Brawl Pass for free, but if you want any of the newer Chromatic Brawlers, they can cost up to 1,500 or more Chroma Credits, which... Yeah, you're never gonna be able to afford that. So because of that one change alone, a lot of free-to-play players were complaining heavily about how they can't get every Chromatic Brawler. But at the same time, maybe this Frank tweet can clear that up. Thanks for your opinion. We feel giving you half of all Brawl Passes for free, plus earning one older free Chromatic Brawler per season is fairly generous. I'm not sure why you believe free-to-play players should be entitled to having all of the latest content for free, which to be honest is kind of fair. I mean, without content that costs money to unlock or at least advance faster, how is the game possibly going to exist? This is the world that free-to-play players want. You're not giving us enough free stuff. Something that probably caused the most drama in Brawl Stars recently is the new Buzzette skin. Oh, and the rainbow pin that you get for free from Brawl Day. Certainly as far as the Bazette skin, a lot of people were on mixed sides of the coins. You either kind of loved the skin or you hated the skin. But unfortunately, there's a lot of hate out there in the world. Just look under the Brawl Stars tweet about the new rainbow pin. There's so many people complaining about having a rainbow in the game, talking about how it's support for gay pride, or how Pride Month was a long time ago, or maybe Muslims won't like it, or whatever their complaint is. But I mean, come on, it's a game, it's just a rainbow. Why are you so offended? Come on. Also, seriously, a big shout out to everyone who uses code Corey in the shop. It actually helps the channel a ton. So thank you for your support. Another thing people are complaining about, and this is related to fame, is for max players, how there's no way to store up credits for future brawler releases. You can not collect your rewards, but that's the only way to do so. Unlike as opposed to coins or PowerPoints where you can just store up as many as possible to a certain degree for future brawlers. Now the team lead, Frank, says infinite storage of progression cannot be sustained without making harsher changes to our economy. So they want to avoid that for now, but maybe it's possible in the future to have a credit bank, but not for the moment. However, one ingenious Reddit user found a way around this, although it doesn't work for max players, but basically you just don't unlock Meg. You build up those credits towards unlocking Meg, but you're not gonna get enough to unlock her, probably, and then when the new brawler comes out, boom, just switch to the new brawler, screw Meg, and you're good to go. Upon further review, it turns out Gray doesn't seem to be shooting from his finger. Another thing that happened, Frank and Grom's super animation finally got re-updated after before, where it kind of looked like a reverse Nazi symbol. But a lot of people were upset that it got fixed in the first place. Oh, the old one was so much better. I missed the old one. And yeah, there's a lot of comments that say similar stuff. Well, if you enjoyed this, consider subscribing, and thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later. Peace.